it's uh, Patrick Ariaj speaking and uh, I'm listening to Pucknut. It's time to lace up those skates and talk about hockey with Walt, Bry, Ming, and Sunday Jeff. These are the Puck Nuts. Hello, welcome to Puck Nuts episode four. Episode four. Uh, Walt. Ming. Sunday Jeff. Bry. Brian Quinn. Whoa, a new Puck Nut. Oh my up. God. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that coming. Kind of the shadows. <laughs> Oh, and, uh, you're a fucking like we're like the Avengers That's or right. the Defenders. Right. We fucking have puck nuts come in, puck nuts go, puck nuts leave, but right. puck nuts come. I'm like the Spider Man. <laughs> I'm like the Spider Man of puck nuts. Sometimes can I, can I'm on I the please, team. Can I please be our tagline? <laughs> <laughs> puck nuts on a shirt. <laughs> puck nuts come, puck nuts go, puck nuts come back. <laughs> They'll leave for a little bit. <laughs> Well thought. <laughs> I'm not as smooth as fucking you are on uh, Tell Him Steve, Dave. In time, in time. In time. Give You're me becoming chance. more seasoned. It's only, it's only fourth time. Mm-hmm. Um, but Q, this is a first ever crossover with Tell Him Steve, Dave, and Puck Nuts. I'm very excited. You're excited, right? Yeah. Who's your favorite devil, Q? Uh, I like Kovacek. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> well, no, uh, honestly, uh, I would say Brodor. You like Brodor? Yeah, yeah. You know, what I, you know what I love about I like this? I name I can pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> what I love is, is that you're a New Yorker. Right. And your favorite team is the Devils, right? My favorite team is the Devils. I, uh, my father. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, my, uh, growing up, my father, uh, you know, as, as li- listeners tell me, they would know I grew up on Staten Island. My father had season tickets to the Devils for like 12 years. And I would go to like three or four games with them a, a season. And now even I go once a year to Devils Ranger game over at the the Rock. And you root for Devils. Devils. I have a Devils jersey uh, issued in their first year of existence. My father bought it the first year. Oh yeah. Do the you original. ever wear it? I wear it every year to that game. Awesome. Can you wear it to one of the one of the uh, next tell crossover Steve events? Dave? Well, any any you know, just wear it to yeah. uh, tell them Steve. Dave Absolutely. Recording. Yeah. Get me excited. Yes, I'll wear it. I'll wear it. It's it's it was uh it's as old as the team is their first season. So 82. it's the green, red, right? and white colors. Yeah. How old were you when when he went to that game? In eighty two, I was six. Wow. So you've yeah. been you've been a Devil fan since you were six years old. You're hardcore. Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember seeing Devils uh you know, when they didn't have helmets. <laughs> when they didn't have helmets, like when I went there yeah, and there's something. That's, right. that's how how I remember the game. I can't remember the last Devil who didn't wear a helmet. I was at his. I don't remember his name. I'm not really a hockey fan, you know. I, 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 I but uh, Get out. <laughs> I was at uh, whoever that guy is. I was at one of his last games because uh, Stevens, Dano, whoever the guy was that that had the last no helmet. Oh no no yeah. No. I was at one of his last games on the Devils because uh, I remember people were like still talking about it, marveling it. When did the so, helmet rule come into effect? It was like a grandfather rule that like they, I think they passed it in the 80s. Yeah. Um, if uh, if you if they at whatever year they passed it, like the next year. Any rookie coming in had to wear a helmet, but anybody who was playing before that rule came into effect could. Choose. I don't know what the fuck a grandfather clause is. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, you're the fucking common man. Do you think everybody who's fucking listening knows? I think so. I think most. Bullshit. Know. Anybody who's listening to this knows what that means. Grandfathered in? Pretty much. I'm trying to fucking give some fucking some background to it. That, that, that you... term is not exclusive to sports, oh, it's... Walter. Oh, it's not? Oh, so you can grandfather things in other business? Mm-hmm. Sure. Or, you know, laws. You can grandfather a law. Is there anybody pl- uh, playing without a helmet these days? I don't think there's anybody yeah. allowed to play without I don't think you're helmet. allowed. I think you have to play well, without a helmet. Well, I think everybody now who was back then is long since retired. I think McTavish yeah. was the last one I remember seeing yeah, without yeah, a helmet. probably McTavish was the last one. Uh, Sunday McTavish. Jeff. There you go. There's a fucking... There's Pulling sc- out the knowledge. Goal. <laughs> right between the pipes, Sunday Jeff. V <laughs> hole. All right. So first thing we gotta take care of, little fucking puck nuts booty time. <laughs> I don't have to bet. <laughs> it's like fucking outbreak. That fucking map and the Ebola virus is creeping across the country and shit. Just see it creeping into J and Bob get old. <laughs> 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 
I'm excited. This is this is a hockey related. This is a hockey relevant no, booty time. Right now, for anybody who, who doesn't listen to Tell Him Steve Dave, we do a little segment. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> booty time, where you could call into the stash and get a little bit of booty. Um, so, uh, Ming, what is the very first Puck Nuts booty time? This week's booty time is a stocky night in Canada puck. Uh, these were made. No, for- no, 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 no. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, don't say Stocky Night in Canada. Say a Kevin Smith. Signed puck. Saw, well, uh, a, a, a pick. <coughs> if it were signed, you would say that. A, a drawing of Kevin Smith. I don't know. What would you say that image? Well, you guys are fucking. <laughs> I'd well, you say Stocky shit, Night, right? too. You don't have to fucking. I am, this. I'm going to have to Don't say Stocky Night, shit. too. Because people know what the fuck he's talking about. A silk say screen a Kevin Smith picture. That guy, they're not involved of. in free card Monty. They're still <laughs> fucking fools. Not on the streets trying to fucking hustle people and shit. Don't say that. Oh, you can't tell me what to say all the time, Walt. You're yeah, fucking right, everything here, 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 up, man. Right. Leave this in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't cut this out. How am I, how am I not going to cut that out? Because you listen, because I want to fucking see what I got to put up with this fucking bullshit. Right, right. Even on my own show, I got to put up with this shit. Right. <laughs> this week's. Puck Nuts Booty Time is a hockey puck with the uh, artwork of Kevin Smith in his Puck U jersey, the jersey he wore uh, when he played in the street hockey tournament this year. Isn't that signed by Kevin? It is signed by Kevin. It is signed by also by Scott Mosier, and it will come signed by all four Puck Nuts. And the new honorary Puck Nut. And the new Brian honorary Q. Puck Nut. Brian so can they fit all those signatures on yeah, one we're gonna puck? Yeah, s- don't worry about it. We'll get it done. Mm-hmm. So... Um, <laughs> It's got sides. Right. There's plenty of room There's to sign. There's plenty of room to sign this shit. Ming, how much? <laughs> it's garbage. <laughs> and if need be, Sunday Jeff will be left off. <laughs> I write small. <laughs> how much, Ming, for the, st- for the Kevin Smith... Signed autograph puck, also with the puck nuts. As, as a potential customer for this, let me guess how much something like that would go for. Signed by all the puck nuts, Mosier, very rare signature. Mosier signature's on here, too. Mm-hmm. Kevin's signature. I'm going to guess no less than $35. Whoa, <laughs> oh, you would be wrong. Really? I could get 35 I can get fucking 40 for this puck with all uh, the puck no nuts signatures. But for this, for a one week only, how many pucks we got, Ming? We have about 20, so they're li- very limited. 20 pucks, first 20 callers to 732-758-0508. Or you can PayPal to kmuse, K-M-E-W-E-S-2 at Gmail. Eight dollars shipped. Eight bucks. Eight bucks shipped for a fucking really hard to find collectible. The very first puck nuts merch. Wow, and that's that's regulation puck. You could play this with is that a real if you puck, wanted, right? Man? It is a real puck uh, made in Canada. All right, so that's booty time. What do you think, Jeff? I think it's a great deal for and what, Jeff. What did you say we should throw in with the uh, with the puck? I think you should throw in the towel. <laughs> 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 Throw in the towel. Tell him a little bit more about the towel. <laughs> the name of his autobiography. <laughs> you got to tell him about the towel. <laughs> the towel. Throw in the towel. Tell us about <laughs> the, the Not towel. only are you going to get the puck, you're going to get, what's that towel called thing? on the ropes. What towel are you talking about? <laughs> the fucking Between Kevin the Smith towel. Yes, uh, they're exclusive towels uh, that were handed out at Kevin's 40th birthday appearances. So you're going to get a, you're going to get a hand towel with Kevin, another picture of Kevin on it. <laughs> it's like a QVC show. <laughs> like the retarded Billy Mays. <laughs> the towel. What towel? The fucking towel. You dumb Chinaman. Oh, the towel. No, oh, what towel? <laughs> you get the towel, you get the puck. Eight bucks shipped in America. $13 in Canada. <laughs> 13 Canadian? 13 Canadian. We, we only got 20 of these, so please don't get off your ass and call. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's this fucking fire on? I don't know. <laughs> Suddenly I missed the time. <laughs> We, we just limped. We just limped through an entire episode of Telling Stephen Inspiration. We're like, Sunday Jeff, quick, think of something. <laughs> Uh, here's something you know. Oh, look at Ming, he's not happy. No. This show is fucking deteriorated to fucking bullshit. We are number five. Uh, oh. Probably came along with the new and noteworthy puck nuts. 
<laughs> all but evaporated. <laughs> I I just saw our, our, our They don't take it seriously, Deb. I'm not going back. <laughs> fuck them. Fuck the fuck nuts. <laughs> fuck everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <He's not happy. laughs> I just saw our first bad review on iTunes, which the guy was like, "Man, these guys don't even talk about hockey." And I got—I was about to get pissed at this guy. I was like, like no, "I'm about you? to write the same review." <laughs> and speak, now I realize this guy was 100 percent right. Well, speaking we're of about uh, hockey pucks, yeah, we're talking about pucks. Talking about being grandfathered in. All right, come on, man, get with the fuck. Program, all right, man. all right, all right. <laughs> I apologize. Come on, That's man. Swift. You go, or, or sit a shift out then and fucking get your head in the game. <laughs> no way, no way. For it's the first line or nothing. First line or nothing. Oh, my Lord. So please, if you're interested in this, don't wait. It's not going to fucking last long. 20 pucks. Signed by the puck nuts, Kevin. 732-758-0508. All right, let's get into some devil talk, Ming. All right. Uh, opening night is upon us. Um, today's Tuesday. Opening day, Thursday, right. uh, Thursday October 7th. I'm, I'm excited. Well, by the time this goes up, though, opening night has already occurred. Yes, I'm still excited. Wait, so. the game's on Thursday? No, no it's on Friday. I know you're fucking it all up here. You're oh, up. Jesus Christ! Um, when this airs, <laughs> we're already the, when they've already played at least three games. Uh, we have three games. Uh, they, they hopefully so, they're. So you're excited about upcoming night? I am very. excited. I mean, opening night. I've been let's, waiting for uh, this for months. Let's uh, see who the uh, who the Devils open up with that very first game of the of the season. Q, are you going to be at that game? Uh, do you have a ticket for me? No. Then I won't be at that game. <laughs> <laughs> the Puck Nuts. This is the Puck Nuts' first public appearance. We will be attending the game, all four of the Puck Nuts. Since last week when we went to the fucking barbecue. No, but, the, but all four of the Puck Nuts weren't there. And we're just, I mean, this is the first time all four Puck Nuts will be in one, under one roof, other than when we're recording. Like right now, yeah. Okay. <laughs> an, in, an indoor fucking recording. Yeah, indoor. In, indoor. Game. Is your expectation we'll get swamped? Unless we go to the winter class. Graphs and shit like that. It could be. We, I mean, uh, rule it out. I don't think we'll be able to sit like all fucking unbothered like Springsteen did at a fucking softball game. Oh, Incognito. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just right. a regular guy. <laughs> he didn't even sit in a box. Like I've sat in a fucking box before. It's <laughs> not a big deal. All right. So the Devils open up with the Dallas Stars. Ming, what um, do you think opening night? I'm feeling good. We got the zip line going. The uh, the Zajac Prezi uh, Ilya Ilya line. Uh, I see two or three goals from them. I'm going to predict uh, 5-1 against the Stars. Sunday, Jeff, you've been quiet. I, w- I would take the Devils on uh, on opening night. I think the crowd's going to be really uh, behind everybody. And I'm going to say it's 4-2 Devils. 4-2 Devils. Bry? Um, I mean, sure. Devils. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it's low scoring, though. I'm going to say all those people being there are not going to affect... The Devils, and it's going to be lower score, Jeff, 3-1. I don't know why the fuck you would say your score. What was it again? 4-2. Nah, that's stupid to say. It's going to be 3-1. Why is that stupid? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's Kovalchuk's first name? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I'm afraid that um, expectations are really high, and I hope that um, you know the, if the Devils uh, you know come out of the gate a little, a little slow, that people don't got fucking start fucking putting – their heads in ovens and tying fucking ropes around their necks because I mean this team it's it's better to fucking come out of the gate slow and then fucking amp it up when playoff time comes you know the Devils have have for the last couple of years have fucking been monsters in December and then when it comes in April is that you know, way is that your way of saying they're probably going to lose no I think they're going to win down <laughs> against Dallas but I'm but I'm also not going to be on the ledge I won't need anybody to talk me off the ledge if they lose. Um, Really? Two out of three out of the open because it's early. It's first game. It's, they got to get to know each other. But I'm saying Dallas that first night. Uh, ten, ten, two Devils. <laughs> <laughs> I also think I'm going to win the lottery that night. <laughs> stick to the puck. Stick to selling pucks. <laughs> All right, ten the, two. Ten two, man. That's awesome. All right, I that, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's gonna happen. Exactly. Like you said it, now it's happening. <laughs> offensive mind and mind, offensive oh. strategy. I had no idea it was gonna be that awesome. It's a new look team. What did you, what I, did you I'm, say? I'm four, not four to one. I said four one. No, you're wrong, man. There's gonna be six more goals in that. All right, <laughs> that's what I like to see. But then, um, at that first opening week, Devils play two. Three back to back, really strong uh, opponents back to back to back here. They go, then they go 
down to, or up? I don't know where the fuck they're going to Washington. Is that up or down from? That's, that would be down. <laughs> That's right. definitely down. Going down to fucking COV. What do you think, man? Uh, I think that'll be a little closer, not ten two like you said, but uh, I think they could pull it out uh, three two. Three two, shootout. Yeah, shootout. Sunday, Jeff, what do you think? That's that's a tough game, right? Yes, but they played good against them last year. I mean, last year was a different story, but uh, with the offensive power that they have this year and a couple of more additions to add in size, I'm going to say it's going to be probably close to uh, either a shootout game or an overtime game. Devils win? Devils win. Bry? Well, I wasn't even listening to you guys. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll skip Bry. Q. Yeah, skip me, you guys. Yo. Q, the plane, you ever hear of Ovechkin? Yes. He's a, he's a monster right. from Russia. Mm-hmm. Um, caps are the caps score a lot of goals. What do you think? Devils uh, played a cap Saturday night in in Washington. It's a right. tough, tough game. I, I think it could be a preview of the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, I, I I have no hesitation saying that I, I believe the Devils is just going to fucking railroad the guy. Okay, I think they're going to the Devils going to win. Yeah, Devils. My my feeling is it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a lot tougher than Dallas. Ten four, <laughs> Devils. Then they play Pittsburgh, in the afternoon game. This is really strange. An afternoon game. It's a, on a Monday. It's a holiday. It's a Columbus well, day. It's a that's Columbus a, day. That's why they're doing it. Uh, Crosby, Malkin, Flurry come into the to the Rock, and um, this is going to be some battle. Uh, it will, and uh, we're going to have to tone down our excitement. As I think we're bringing our kids to that game. But, um, what? <laughs> I'm not going. <laughs> no, you're not going. God damn it. Me and Ming are bringing our daughters to that game. Are you really? Yeah, we are. We're gonna have to tone it down. Why are we gonna? You to guys are gonna have to buy an extra ticket. Oh no, Tudor. What about Sunday, Jeff and his daughter? He's got uh, a daughter. I don't know. I mean, oh, I, I well. asked for the tickets, and then Ming was like, "I'm gonna bring my daughter too." So wow, he, 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 he fucking paid for his fucking tickets. Wow. What game is that? That was a Monday night, Monday Columbus Day afternoon game against Pittsburgh. So because I don't have a daughter, suddenly I'm fucking excluded. Yeah, well, you're going opening night. Okay. We'll go another day. Yeah. <laughs> you can get the next day. <laughs> you take your niece, I'll take my daughter. Day. How about that? All right, you guys get the next afternoon one, That's right? Fine. That's fair, right? I don't mm-hmm. I don't think there are any more afternoon yeah, games. Yeah, there is. There's some on. But... Um, so what, 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 what do you mean we got to amp it down? What do you mean? You think that we have to, like, not get crazy in front of the kids? I think we have to cut down on the cursing. So I tend to curse <laughs> a lot at these games. I've never heard you curse once in front really? of your kid. Not in front of my kid, but I've uh, never heard you curse once. Where the fuck get- are the cheeseburgers? <laughs> <laughs> the free cheeseburgers supposed to be here. That uh, that's what hockey brings out in me, though. The uh, your the, fucking blue tongue. Yeah, the blue, the blue mouth, the blue language. Just really? like you know, miss shots. The blue balls. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, yeah, LeBron, so Le- if you so you want me to, uh, I can't be. See, my kids have heard me curse before, so you're saying that if your kids in the, in the, in sitting by us, you don't want me fucking cursing. I, I prefer not to, but uh, you, you know, know if gonna... I bring my niece, I don't give a fuck if you're cursing, Walt. So maybe you want to curse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All not right. gonna I'm not gonna censor you though. No, I won't curse in front of your kid. Well, I hope you should not. just I go hope over not. the top. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking I don't cunts. plan to. I don't. I don't want to want, want to do that. But still, you know, I'm sure you know miss shot. Uh, you know, a turnover. I might say, damn. Damn. Or All right, fuck, that's a uh, you know, but <laughs> that's not crazy. <laughs> you know, so, a, a missed check by LeBlanc that'll bring it out. That'll bring it out. I mean, all right, uh, Ming. Uh, I mean, Sunday, Jeff, Pittsburgh. Uh, again, close game. I'm going to say Devils again. Win it. So Devils are going to open up three and zero in your eyes. Yeah, I think they they play them very well. They, I don't think they lost any games against uh, Pittsburgh last year. And uh, I think they only lost one game against Washington. So they play them very well. They uh, apparently gear up to play them very well. So, all right, all right. I, it is going to be it is going to be a battle though. Those two. I mean, just all kidding their side. I do think the Devils will open up with a victory against Dallas, but two. I mean, two really strong opponents. Aren't afterwards. its former team? I would. I would. I would hope to. You know what? I would really like um, split those two games and maybe get a point in a shootout against Pittsburgh and Washington. That would be that would be, be good to start out with that. I, I could live with that. Q? Yeah, I, I mean, the Penguins are all one of the premier teams, right? In the East, yeah. They're, yeah. they're a good team. They're, they're always mentioned as, as... Paul Martin comes back to Jersey. I forgot about that. Really? Yeah. Okay, who's who's Paul Martin? Uh, he's a devil that defected to go to Pittsburgh. <laughs> he's coming back? He's coming back. How's that going to go over well with the fans? 
Uh, I don't really think the fans ever really connected to Paul Martin. Yeah. I, I, he's a good player. I was don't a get me wrong. Paul Martin fan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. So, you, you saw him score a goal last year, uh, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, he you scored a goal there. against Pittsburgh that game. Oh, I know. Don't tell me my business. <laughs> he's, of course he, you did. He's the biggest Paul Martin fan in the room. What are you talking <laughs> about? Oh, right. Do you call that a defection? A uh, flat out defection? It's not like Scott Gomez or, um, you know, a Well, he day. left. He left to go play, play for Pittsburgh. I don't think the fans, the fans will notice him. If he does something well, of course, but I don't know. There's really no like animosity. I don't believe. I mean, he played, he played well when he was at Devils. Um, is he like a like a journeyman player? He's not really. No, this like is only the second team he ever played for. Him. Okay, so, I don't think the bull him either. Though, when he comes on the ice, I don't think the bull. He just didn't have that much of an impact yeah. in Jersey, where yeah. you're like either way, you like wasn't he was a decent player, but wasn't one player that you were like, oh, we can't, we really can't lose him mm-hmm. or. He, it's just yeah, he's not. It's the fan reaction is not going to be that big. It's not like Derek Jeter leaving the Yankees for a season. No, play for no, Red Sox no or not at all. Okay. That's yeah. what Gomez did. That's why oh, Gomez yeah, comes Gomez back. To, it's to the Rock. He gets fucking serenaded, and rightfully so. That was a prick move. Where did he go? To, he went to the Rangers. Rangers. Ooh, fuck the Rangers. What? Rangers. Fucking talking Rangers Look here. Look at the Rangers. Oh, Rangers? Oh, well. I'm still trying to argue with this big guy. Suck your nuts, dude. Come on. Come, come on. on. As you're fucking... What are you talking about? We've only been doing it for 15 minutes. <laughs> like, we can't stop now. How long has it been going? How long? We've been going a long time. We have been. We've been going for... Well, we're going to subtract that half hour. Uh, we have like 20 minutes. Uh, all right. So we still got time. All right. We've only been going for 20 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready to stop. Well, I, we want to keep it short and sweet. Nobody wants fucking marathons. Like, tell them, Steve, Dave. Well, I think at least a half hour is, is what well, we're talking about. Pandolfo. Forty-five you want to talk minutes. About Pandolfo? Forty-five minutes. Yeah, a half hour. Sure. Fifteen minutes of booty time counted in that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got five minutes of hockey. <laughs> Um, all right, so that's oh, but uh, after the Pittsburgh game, I'm talking about the back to back to back. It's Buffalo. Ryan Miller comes into town. I, that's going to be a tough game. Um, I think Buffalo is going to be a real strong team in the East this year. So some really tough opponents on the on the uh, the schedule makers haven't made it easy. I'm sure that was Batman fucking in there going, let's fucking make our life really miserable for them in the beginning and try to get them underneath the under a rock as soon as possible so they have to battle their way throughout the whole season. No favors from the NHL when it seems when it comes to the Devils. Not at all. Uh, you forgot uh, the Colorado, though. I'm not worried about Colorado. All they right. don't beat Colorado at home. Is that on a home, too? It is. They didn't play well against Colorado the last year. No, they didn't. All right, so we don't. All right, we really don't need it. We all think the Devils are going to start out at least 6-0, and so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're um, going to win all the games. <laughs> Do you want to hear something <laughs> fucking weird? A Massachusetts woman faces assault charges after Belmont police said she hit a motorist in the face with a bag of dog feces. Police said that the woman, whose name has not been released, admitted tossing doggy dung at the driver because she believed he was speeding. What do you say to that, Walt? Some lady thinks you're speeding and she throws a bag of dog shit at your face. What, was she listening to response? a devil's game? At the time? I know, really. What's the connection that I, I don't know? I just up? saw this. <laughs> That doesn't interest you. Uh, that's t- wait, let's wait, let's get our thoughts on that on Tom Steve Dave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> M- Ming is not happy, man. We're not a happy camper. <laughs> it's fucking going up in flames. <laughs> is it me? Is it my? Is it, is it my addition that's causing this episode to go? I don't know. I don't think it's you. Like what you're saying, I think you're doing a great job. Yeah. I think maybe your presence though is you're kind of like the guy that I'm like, showing off for. Him. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you, you separate used two fucks in the classroom, <laughs> get you as far away from each other as well, you, possible. You put us on the same mic. Over here, man. <laughs> 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 Dog feces. <laughs> Fuck it, pretty. You know what? Remember that time I threw a cup of, gl- of soda out the window into another guy's car and soda, hit him in yeah. the face? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a dickhead. Kind of the same thing. Yeah, he was a Rangers fan. That's why I did it. <laughs> yeah, Rangers. <laughs> Yeah, then at the, no, I'm not going to say it yet. <laughs> it's like 23 minutes in. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. So I wanted to give, I wanted to give a puck nuts shout out to uh, a player who has ended his tenure with the Devils after a long storied career. He got fired? Uh, he was bought out by. Salary the, cap type stuff? He was a victim of the salary cap. Yes. It does not. Um, he was victimized? Uh, yeah, like just like a lot of players, with the, with the salary cap, I don't think is good for the players association. I don't know why they agreed to it, um, because a lot of older players now are feeling the ramifications of uh, of a of a hard cap. 
of the same shit that every other fucking elderly American feels, which is like, you cost too much, we can get somebody cheaper to, like, somebody younger to do it for half the price, you know? Oh, I thought you were going to add more than that. That was good. That was a good Is fucking... It, isn't that that... Yeah, it's the same shit, though, right? It's like older people who, who are broken down and aren't as effective as they once were. Why wouldn't you trade that guy in for somebody who's younger and sprightly, zipping up and down the ice queue? Wouldn't that line of thinking have protected, uh, had made Kovalchuk's first deal valid? Because uh, he would have been playing, theoretically, well into his 40s? Um, it wasn't the it wasn't the money so much as the um, it was the length of contract and we we went over that. Did you listen to Puck Nuts? Number yeah, one? that's why I brought it up because I I was I was I was uh, throwing that in, sprinkling that in. I listened to the first few episodes that I that's where I'd glean the argument from. But then, then you know what you know the answer to your question or well no no I was <laughs> suggesting it as like that's age ageism. It was so fucking thinly veiled, dude. No, I know. Something. I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> but I want, but can I fuck you fuck did you interrupted my uh, my player I mean this this guy deserves better than what we're giving him as a shout out okay Mr. J Pandolfo um, how old is he even I recognize that name god he's not that old but you know and I guess in a professional athlete's uh, age I guess he got up there and uh, I guess they just felt that for the money they were paying him they could get someone younger faster to do how it how much was he making He's making like two million a year, right? Something like that, yeah. And how old is he? He's got to be in his late thirties or mid thirties at least. Mid, mid to late thirties. Wonder what you do after that. Like it seems all these. Well, guys. it's not. He didn't retire. He's going to try to c- catch on with another team. Oh, so it hasn't happened yet, though. He, I'm sure he wants to play for another team. He still got. I'm sure he still got a lot left in the gas tank. But like, how old is Terreri? Like Terreri's. Oh, he's in his forties. So he's too old to play. Yeah, he's probably at this point too old. Yeah. Like, what does Sean Burke do? Uh, you guys can do. Old school. Hmm. You guys can. These guys can go into color commentating. They can go into broadcasting. They can go work for a team as a coach. There's a lot. Sure, of they things. can fucking. Well, Terrari does. Terrari. Target. I'm asking, what the fuck does he do now? <laughs> Who? No, Sean Burke. What could he? What? Not, what I, could he I do? Don't what know, does he do? Look it up. I don't know. I'll I'll look look it up. Up. Come on, Quinn. Terrari's a coach. That man. Terrari's the coach. Sean no Burke. shit. Fucking Sunday, Jeff. I was yeah. there <laughs> getting interviews and shit while you were fucking around. <laughs> But what, what difference Davis does it make what he's figures. doing? I mean, Sean Burke Just hasn't curious. been a devil since, like, 91. Oh, so you don't care about him anymore? I, not that I don't care about a, a devil alumni, but, I mean, we're trying to give fucking Jay Pound off all a proper fucking puck nut shout out. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Favorite Pound off memory Sunday, Jeff? I know what Burke's doing. Uh, later. No, I don't, I don't really have one to tell you the truth off the top of my head. I mean, other than when he was with uh, uh, the uh, uh, Stanley uh, Cup. Won a Stanley Cup, Stanley Cup, two-time Stanley Cup. Scored a huge goal against Anaheim in, I think, Game 5 um, of the Stanley Cup Finals. It may, might have been the game-winning goal. He uh, it, was, it was in a high-scoring game, one of the only high-scoring games of that series, and he had a pretty big goal in that off of his foot. It took a while, but they finally got the, the correct call, and it and it counted. But it was a pretty big goal. He was a very instrumental in the two Cup wins. He, he played an important role in that with the Madden line and um, – uh, I definitely believe his his service uh, needs to be recognized on puck nuts. And um, he was a solid player over his career like with puck nuts, doubles. Like like a little like ho ho ho, like a fucking <laughs> like a cheer. <laughs> That'll make him feel better for that shit hand. <laughs> Wait, they said ho ho ho. I don't well, really right. mean ho ho ho, but oh. like something like yo. Know, Something like that to give like a signature puck nut shout out to players that they deserve it. Like and, and like our three stars of the week can get like a yo ho ho. <laughs> now we're pirates. <laughs> Freaking pirates. <laughs> give them some gold doubloons. <laughs> yeah, that just doesn't sound very hot. Here's the booty for this week. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We'll come up with something better. We'll have us. Yeah. So we'll just we'll pick the three. We'll pick the three nuts of the week. Three nuts of the week. Three nuts. That's of okay. The week. All right. So this week, since there's no games, I'm giving my puck nut nut of the week. The J. Pandolfo. Jam, J. Pandolfo. All right. Next week, you give the one. Okay. Then we Absolutely. get to that Sunday, Jeff, then Bri, and then Q, whenever you're in town. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? We're picking a guy that you're we like, like. If you're not fucking in on the show, then you fucking well, listen I'm, to we're it. We're looking like up everybody what Sean else. Burke is up to. Yeah. We don't care where Sean Burke is Some right other people point. care. It's hockey history. It's a- Where's he at? He's in Phoenix? He's, yeah, he's a, uh, he's the Coyotes. Yeah. He yeah. plays? No, he's a uh, coach, director of prospect development, and he's now the Coyotes goaltending coach. Yeah, like Terreri. All right, there you go. For all you people who are wondering what Sean Burke was up to. <laughs> all right, riveting. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. Almost as much as this Pandolfo nonsense. <laughs> How do you spell his last name? This guy? Suddenly I want to hear about the fucking no, pucks for sale. P- <laughs> P-A-N-D. A-L-F-O? Or O-L-F-O? I think it's O-L. All right, what are we Shut up, up Sunday, <laughs> Jeff. Oh, we're about up to half interjections hour, so. are becoming tired. <laughs> Got half hour. Let's let's keep going. Um, all right, Ming, you had some shout outs that you wanted to do. We're allowed to do shout outs on Puck Nuts. I did no restrictions here. No restrictions. Whatever you want to shout out. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to give plugs to um, a couple of websites that have uh, helped me as a new fan. Uh, just follow the team a lot better. Get a lot of more factual information. Uh, the first one, uh, the Bar None, one of the best Devils information sites, is the uh, Fire and Ice. Aside from us. Aside from us. Uh, it's the Fire and Ice blog uh, run by Tom Gulitti of the uh, the Bergen County Record. I've seen this guy. He's always blowing up our Twitter and shit. He's always he tweets too much. Oh <laughs> yeah, we got more. Much. We got fucking sp- <laughs> important shit to fucking write on. All right. Yeah. If, ours. If, if, I'm um, trying to look up tweets by fucking Jay Muse <laughs> and uh, Malcolm Ingram. <laughs> all I hear is stuff about the devil. You, I asked you if it was okay if I followed this guy. You know what? You can block him or unfollow him now because I'm not on Twitter no more, so it don't I'm matter. Block him. I don't um, unfollow him. I want to block him. So he's like, well, what's going on? <laughs> Wait, continue with your shout. <laughs> uh, Tom's job is to basically be at every game and uh, report back. And uh, Why the fuck are you telling these fucking listeners what Tom's job is? Who the fuck cares? I know. He's even less interesting <laughs> than Sean Burke. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying really? Tom, Tom Why is the a, fuck? Uh, well, are you... All right, I heard he got his car washed last Saturday. <laughs> Come on, man. What's the next site that you want to fuck uh, next, with him? Next site is the uh, the HF boards, the Hockey's Futures boards. Uh, covers right. basically everything hockey, U.S., professional, amateur, European. Okay. But they cover each team, and uh, they have a very uh, they have a very active Devils board. Um, and uh, they're a lot of those people and are big fans cool. of us. So what's that? A lot of those people are big fans of us. Oh yeah, yeah. So oh, I, how many fucking how many uh, on the thread? How many comments on the thread? Uh, I think when, uh, when I looked, it was fucking twelve. So we're like, all I our, think we're up all to, our twelve fans are really behind us on fucking. We're up to HF thirty. Boards. We're up to thirty five now, all and right. I'm sure not all of them are as vocal <laughs> as uh, some of the others. So, so it's, it's just so it's, they're fire hardcore and f- fire and ice in uh, the HF boards, the Hockey's Futures board. Yes, all right for this week. Glad to see we're fucking pimping other shit. I know. You should, you should ban shout outs on this show too, dude. <laughs> what about the uh, the greats at thegreat.com? <laughs> uh, I also, oh, I got a shout on, out man. too. Take, um, take, take the show over. Rich, I don't know if you're listening to Puck Nuts. I hope you are, buddy. Oh and uh, this show's for you. Uh, All right. This is the best. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. I'll Let's allow. hear some devil stuff. Oh, Shut these two that. fools up. <laughs> Oh, this has that. been our best episode of Puck Nuts. I, yeah, I think so. Because <laughs> it's essentially Tell Him Steve. <laughs> I, was, I was just thinking, how can we top last week with the uh, the recap of the Devil's Barbecue? And I think we just did it. Um, Jeff, any any comments about uh, the, the seasons of fast approaching? Any anything on the uh, roster updates or anything? <laughs> it's so funny. The weird the roster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get back into the professional mode and you keep fucking dragging me back into tell him Steve Dave fucking lunacy. I have, I have another story about somebody getting hit with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Roster updates, Jeff? Uh, well, they haven't cut anybody yet, so I mean it's well, only got until uh no, that, that was that was long. T- <laughs> that was in earlier in the summer. Uh, <laughs> they haven't cut anybody yet. They got until tomorrow. Hey, wait, I had something. Actually, uh, Ming, maybe you heard about this. One of the Rangers got hurt. Really? Vinny Prospel? Does that ring a bell, Ming? Yeah, he's a Ranger. Yeah, yeah no love for Vinny. What well, we don't, we, I mean, we no love for Rangers, but we don't, we don't advocate players getting hurt because that, because players one day could become devils and then it's, then it's a real fucking awkward if we're like, we, well, actually, that's not true. We I, actually we do advocate. Yeah, three years from now he's like, I remember that episode of Puck Nuts where you said you're acting like it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, there's only one player I wouldn't mind seeing like a, a nice stiff elbow in the face. Uh, that would that be Sean Avery? That would be Avery. But otherwise, I mean, these players, I mean, they one day they could become devils. I don't ever want to. I don't really wish that any player gets hurt. That that would be cruel and inhumane. What if Sean Avery becomes a devil? That that will never happen. <laughs> Lamorella would never fucking 
um, ever sign, have his name on a Devils contract or a Devils jersey. They're saying that uh, some people are saying that it's a small sissy type injury. Mm. What's the injury? Sore knee. Who said there was sore a sissy? I don't know. Somebody hey, on this. You know, Pandolfo's Bleacher report. Bleacher report. Pandolfo's number twenty was already reassigned. Yeah, that's true. That's disrespect completely, man. They can't even give it a day or two. Who was it assigned to? Uh, it was a rookie or something. Uh, uh, the new guy, Tor- Tormina. Tormina. Yeah. yeah. That's. I don't think that. I mean, this is this is the world of sports. I mean, unless you are an elite, right? You don't get your number retired. I mean, the Devils only retired two numbers: mm. Stevens and Danico, and I'm sure uh, Brodeur. Right. And I, I would hope Eliash. One day gets his number retired and McLean, but he, how many numbers can he retire? I mean, because there's only so many numbers in the fucking world that you and can those use. Those jerseys are big that they hang up. Those fake jerseys. Yeah, those what you mean the banners yeah. for the jerseys? You know they hang up their jersey yeah. like in the yeah. Raptors, but they're fake, right? They're like not the real. No, jersey. They're fucking not real jerseys. No, that <laughs> fucking a lot of fabric, King Kong though. fucking <laughs> his number is retired for the Devils. Right? Yeah. That's what, I'm <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm trying to bring serious devil's topics. So. Um, the uh, the rumors are keeping uh, 27 open I'm for retirement saying, for Niedermeyer. Um, how do you feel about that? Fit on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Niedermeyer, yeah, there's a rumor that Niedermeyer might get his number retired. Ming? Uh, I got fucking phone. I know, man. Jesus. I'll wait till it stops. Well, why do you have it set to ring <laughs> fucking 25 times before <laughs> it goes off? Let's talk about more dog poop. Yeah. I, I have to be honest. I wasn't really a fan back in the, the his glory days when he was with the Devils. But uh, he does have uh, he's 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 technically got four rings, right? But you know, three yeah. with the Devils. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, that would that would deserve a lot of uh, recognition. It. Okay, uh, Sunday, Jeff Niedermeyer. Yeah, I think his number would be retired as the Devils. What's, he your played, fav- what's your favorite Niedermeyer moment since you fucking drew a blank? <laughs> you scored with the fucking. Yeah, what, what, what I got it played with? for so oh, long. Sh- 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 wait a minute, dog. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to go shoot, shoot, but didn't he st- – what was the goal? He said something early in the show that was like, score by Jeff. Oh, I forget. Yeah, what did he say, Kenny? <laughs> oh, McTavish? Yeah, the yeah. McTavish comment, you got to score on that, but then you fucking whiffed on the Because he always wearing no helmet. I mean, I don't remember. I mean, he, had, he was a, a solid player. He played very good all the time. I mean, Who, I neither? can't – Niedermeyer. I didn't think he had any kind of down down games, really. I asked you for your favorite Niedermeyer moment, not your fucking worst Niedermeyer moment. Uh, my favorite, my favorite moments is when he uh, hung the three cups over his head. That's that's his favorite. That's my favorite moment. Jeff, I'm beginning to think you haven't watched any <laughs> Devil games in yeah. your fucking entire <laughs> life. You talk about a player that's played how many years ago for the Devils? How about remember. when he fucking took the puck behind the net against Detroit, Game Two? That's what I was gonna say. Went coast to coast, <laughs> missed the net on uh, I believe yeah, it was, he got the rebound, uh, Vernon. Okay. It bounced off the back end boards and he put it in. One of the most spectacular goals in Stanley Cup Finals history. That might be a good moment. I would think so. That's a good moment. What about when? Uh, well, if you have all the good moments, smashed. Oh no, that's not a good one. That could be. No. All right, edit that. <laughs> he might become a devil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian, any your favorite Niedermeyer moment? Uh, none. My favorite Sunday Jeff moment, though, was last year when one of the Devils hung his cup above Sunday <laughs> Jeff's head in the locker room. <laughs> I remember we had to pull him out by his legs. What? Did you say something about hanging a cup above his head? <laughs> Three cups he had above his head? What? What are you talking about? I have no idea. Go back and check the tape. <laughs> Go on the queue. Now, come on, man. If you what? were, if I was as disinterested as you were mm-hmm. during Tom, Steve, Dave, you'd be fucking annoyed. I'm looking stuff up about Rangers in You're looking up fucking dog shit. Look at that. No. My dog shit idea was fucking roundly spurned. I'm going to save it. Neater? You know, my, I'm trying to look up stuff to keep up and be informed. I just kicked over an entire cup of soda. Thank, thank, thank God for Wikipedia, because otherwise well, we'd have nothing really to talk about enough. today. To have a favorite moment. Well, you can talk about, like, have you ever seen, a, ever gone to a game where they retired someone's number? It's a pretty special moment for uh, the player and the fans. In hockey? No, in any sport. Yeah. You did who? Think not not when they have I seen it? I have never been to a game. No, I never went to like a Yankees game where they retired any. No, I have seen it on TV though. I'm assuming. Right? Yeah, we, we, you know you watch. Uh, it's, it's special. It, it should is. be a big it's, deal. It's a big deal yeah. you know, for everybody involved. So much so that it, it annoys when they don't retire someone. I'm sure you're with the Devils right now. We're talking about like God. Why don't they retire this guy's number? So he's. He well, there's it. one reason because there's still, some of these players are still playing. Right. Well, Niedermeyer retired, right? He, he retired, but he's kind of like there's a there's a con, con, 
stingency. What's that word? Contingency? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, of fans who say that he doesn't deserve to have his number retired because he he deserted the Devils when the Devils really needed him most um, in 2004. Uh, he became a free agent. And uh, two of our best defensemen of, of all time retired. And he decided not to stay. So we lost three great defensemen uh, in, in one year or one off season. So why did they, he leave? Money? He, uh, no. Yeah. Good. So they, Jeff. He wanted, he wanted to win a cup with his brother. You know that. Yeah, That's he wanted exactly to go play with his brother in oh. Anaheim. That's why I don't. I'm not one of those. I'm not and one they won, of those. Didn't it? Yeah, they did. Yep. He wound up winning a, a cup with his brother. Uh. And uh, I, I've never wanted to feel like that. You know what? He went to a team that was 4,000, 5,000 miles away. It was never going to be a problem with you know, him playing in the Western Conference for the Devils. Not like that fucker Trader Gomez. So um, I have no hard feelings towards Niedermeyer as a fan. Um, I'm sure he's happy to hear that. But um. <laughs> 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 but I hope they do retire his number. Uh, I would like to see it, but... I think Johnny Mack deserves it too, yep. and I believe uh, Brodeur is a no-brainer, and um, Eliash has got to go up there too at one point. Well, Eliash has got to be the most underrated mm-hmm. devil of all time. Mm-hmm. He's a guy that's constantly in the shadows of uh, of other players for the Devils, and he's such a clutch, awesome player that uh, I hope that one day that recognition of a uh, of a number going up to the rafters happens for him too. And maybe Eliash. I mean, um, Kovalchuk and Parisi, hopefully. Oh, well, you know what? Let's let let's let Kovalchuk and Parisi win a cup. Uh, I agree. All I those agree. guys we're talking about have multiple uh, cups on their resume, and uh, that's all that really matters. <laughs> so does Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I have three cups over my head. What are you talking about? <laughs> the idea of Jeff sniffing dude. <laughs> all right. So, um, uh, just to get back, I mean, uh, the, just so we have a way we can sign mm-hmm. this shit off. Um, the first Ranger Devil game doesn't no, come until. I believe it's when? November fifth. November fifth, huh? You know that for a fact, Ming. Um, Ranger Devil home game. Uh, Ranger Devil. Well, where's the first game at all? Uh, October twenty fourth. Oh, okay, a uh, uh, Sunday night. Devils Rangers um, at the at the Garden. Um, could be some problems with Avery in that one. Avery saw that he can get under the Devil's skin. It still works. Um. What do you think? Well, if I if I gotta give the right answer here and they say they should just level him. No, you give your Ming answer. I don't give the right <laughs> answer. My my Ming answer is to uh, <laughs> my Ming answer is just not to let just you know don't oh, let him get God damn it. Don't let him get under your skin. Just freaking score concentrate on scoring goals. Don't don't All let right, you his, know what? Give the right answer. <laughs> the right answer oh, is nobody can understand this answer. <laughs> What the fuck's he talking about? I'm talking about playing hockey and not not letting this pest get under your skin. Right, okay. And you know, just freaking score goals and win the freaking game. So That's what Jeff, I'm talking you agree, about. You agree with Ming, right? Yeah, devil's hockey and uh, let the scoreboard do the uh, talking. Right. What was the question? <laughs> you know, you know what? The fucking no matter what the question was, the answer is Rangers eat nuts. See you next week. Find more funny shit like this at Smodcast.com. Scott, we ain't the only game in town. There's lots of other funny stuff going on at the Smodcast Podcast Network. For sure. So why the fuck are people just listening to this show? Go listen to the rest. Listen to the rest. You know why? It's all fucking free. It's all you know free. why else? Every day of the week. Seven days a week. For the man. shadow. Actually, absolutely, man. There's the Green Hornet time where it's just like, and then the Green Hornet entered the room. Hello. <laughs> See how riveting that shit is? That's what's happening all the time at smodcast.com. It's theater of the mind, People bitch. entry. <laughs> People come in. People say shit. People leave. That's as gripping as it gets. That's the beginning of drama, Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smodcast.com. It's all free. It's all funny. Smonsters of talk. There's so many to choose from.